fans. No, seriously, that's all we're doing today. Hello everyone, Chris here. I hope you're all well, and if you've been around 3D printing very long, you realize just how many fans there can be on one of these machines, and how annoying they can get. There's all different sizes, types, speeds, voltages, and depending on the fan you get, it could be very loud or maybe not have enough output. So that got me thinking. I have tons of different types of fans, but I really don't know which one's better than the other one. And I wanted to measure them somehow. Now, I'm not an expert on this subject by any means, but I did put this contraption together to try to give me an idea of what the difference between one fan or the other might have been. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to walk through all the steps I took to build this contraption, show you all the footage of the readings I took for all of these different fans, and we'll just talk about it a little bit in general. So let's jump into it here. So let's start here with the anemometer. I got this off of Amazon. It was very affordable. I have no idea how accurate it might be. But again, I'm not really calculating CFM or anything like that here. I'm just comparing one to the other. I really just wanted to see what would happen. So hopefully this is going to be good enough for this video. If you did want to calculate something like CFM, you would have to take into account the duct you're using, all different kinds of maths that I'm just not going to do here today. I don't think I could even get an accurate calculation. And then we have the duct that I created. Basically, I just wanted something the same size as the anemometer to give me as big a coverage going into the meter as I could. And then I did a revolve to get it down to a square size. Now, for these tests, I'm just doing 40 millimeter and below. I do have a lot of bigger ones, so maybe we'll ramp this up at some point. But I made some other fixtures so I could do the blower type fans as well. If you're interested in trying some tests like this, I don't know if it's worth your time, but I will put this up on Thingiverse or Prusa printers. Link in the description. I did create several different styles of mounts, but the idea was not to reduce the output of any of the fans going into this duct that I created. That will drastically reduce the output of the fan. So I have one for 50 millimeter blowers, the slim type of blower fan, 30 millimeter fans, 25 millimeter fans, just a handful of different ones that I could find. I just created them from scratch. And the setup is very simple. You have your duct, you have your fan, whatever size it might be, you can use the reducer. You screw it down to here. I did set some M3 nuts inside this. They're a little tricky to get in, but not too bad. The anemometer has a quarter 20 bolt thread on the bottom. So I just screwed it down to this piece of wood. I made some 3D printed stands. I can put my duct in here and then just use a couple of rubber bands to hold it in place. Easy enough. So there's the contraption I made. Again, I don't know how accurate these figures are going to be or if they really make any sense at all, but this is what I came up with fairly quickly just to help me determine if one fan might be better than the other. So now we go to compare things, but the next thought I had was voltage matters greatly on these fans and what voltage you're running at. You can vary that voltage one way or the other to increase or decrease the output of one of these fairly easily. So I wanted the voltage to be consistent. So I went with using all standalone power supplies. We're dealing with three different voltages here today, 5 volt, 12 volt, and 24. But I wanted to make sure that I could set the voltage spot on for each test. And these are all adjustable. Here's our 24 volt power supply. I tried to adjust it to 24 volts as close as I could. Also, I didn't want any power supplies that had a constant on fan because I do want to measure how loud these fans might be when they're running. We don't want any additional noise. There's our 12 volt power supply and our five volt power supply. So now that we have the power sorted out, we can get on with the tests. And I found almost 30 different types of fan to test. And that's just the ones that would fit in the duct. So we're gonna go through them all, but I do wanna point out a few of them that might be more interesting than some of the others. I did just test every fan that I could find. So let's start with these fans right here, because this is a topic that you're going to see on the internet on occasion. These are Noctua fans. This one came off of Prusa. This one came straight from Noctua. They're identical fans other than the color. And these are Sunon fans. Now, these fans, they're all 5 volt. They're all relatively quiet. 
But the Sunland fan is going to have a lot higher output than the Noctua. You do suffer a bit on the noise rating, but you'll see that in the test. There are multiple types of sun on fan. These are both 5 volt. They're both rated at 0.65 of a watt, but they do have some different performance aspects. On the ones that can be just a bit confusing which one you get, I will leave the model numbers on the data sheet. So keep an eye out for these. I also did throw an extremely small 5 volt fan that's meant to cool a Raspberry Pi in the mix, just to see what kind of performance numbers it would have. You're going to see some 25 millimeter fans. This is like one that would be with a Slice Engineering Mosquito hot end. 30 millimeter fans, like would be on a V6. And then a lot of 40 millimeter fans. This is one that would come with something like a Hemera. Really high output on this one. And miscellaneous types of blower fan. I've got some 50 millimeters of different brands, 40 millimeter, and the slim type that you'd see on something like an Ender 3, they use it for part cooling. So we've got our rig, we've got our power, we've got all the fans we want to test, now on to the testing. What I'm going to do is put a picture of the fan we're currently testing up on the screen, an output of the decibel reading for that fan so we can see how loud it might be, and a picture of the front of the anemometer. That's going to be measuring the fan in meters a second. So hopefully this gives us some data that we can go over after the fact. I will have all this available in the description below. So let's get to the test.
So there's all the test. Let's have a look at some data. So here's a look at the raw data. You can take a look at this if you want. I will share it out. You can do whatever you want with this data, but there will be a link to a picture of the fan so you can get the model number if you need to, what type of fan it was. Also, I'll try to fill in some of this information over here where you might get one of these fans. But I did take a swag at a few charts. So let's start with the 12 volt fans. So basically what I want in a fan is the maximum amount of flow at the lowest noise level possible. So that's what I'm gonna call your best bang for the buck in each one of these categories. And the sun on fan definitely took it in the 12 volt group. Either the 0.72 watt or the 117 watt. It's just a little bit noisier at 5.1.5 than the 7.2, but if you're wanting to go with the quieter fan, I think this 0.72 watt would be just fine at the 2.3 meters a second flow rate. And then move to 24 volt fans. Again, Sunon is a great choice in this category as well for this ratio here. Also, this Sound Original fan performed really well. It's a little quieter than that Sunon fan, has almost as much output. And then 5 volt fans, remember I showed you before, here's your Noctua fans that Prusa uses, and then your Sun On fans. The green one was definitely the winner. It's not a whole lot much louder than the Noctua fan, but it has a lot more output. Noctua was setting around 40 dB, the Sun On fan, 43.4. So it did pretty well. And if you want to take a look at them overall, 5 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt, if we go by decibel range, that Sunon 0.72 watt fan is definitely one of those fans that you should look at. It has really good numbers compared to the whole lineup. Compared on the other side to some of these Winsen fans, these are the type you can get off of Amazon. They're very noisy and don't perform that well at all. One other data point I did find kind of interesting were the blower fans and how little they actually output. I really didn't think about them being as loud as they are because I just use them for part cooling. So that was a little bit of interesting information. And in the setup that I was testing with, the meters a second flow rate was pretty much the same across the board. It didn't differ much at all. But again, you'll have access to all this data and you can spin it however you wish, take a look at it, Maybe it makes some sense to you. So there it is, we did a thing. And I'm not really sure how useful this information is going to be for a lot of folks, but I did find it somewhat interesting how the fans stacked up side by side. Like the Sun on fans, they are very obviously efficient at a very low decibel range. And you can see some of the fans you probably should just stay away from altogether. This information will be available to all of you, as I said before, you can do with it whatever you wish. I did find it somewhat interesting about the blower fans in this setup. They aren't kicking out as much air as I thought they would, but the intended purpose that we use them for usually is for part cooling, and they're ducted in such a way to focus that air in a certain space. So the efficiency in this setup probably isn't all that accurate. But I might come up with another rig mod. Maybe we'll try this again with a whole new set of fans. So hopefully you found this interesting. That's it for today, and I'll see you really soon on the next one.